Alright, this is Grade 3, Module 2, Lesson 21. We're going to be estimating sums and differences using word problems. In this problem, there are 153 milliliters of juice in one carton, and a three-pack of juice contains a total of 459 milliliters. Estimate and then find the total amount of juice in one carton and the three pack. So that basically means we're going to add. Now here's the point of me showing this problem because this is a pretty straightforward question. But the thing is a lot of parents are going to say it says estimate. Does that mean we're supposed to round to the nearest hundred? Or are we supposed to round to the nearest ten? And then they might get angry or frustrated and we really don't want that. And the idea being uh, the reason why previous lessons we've been told, hey, estimate in one way, now estimate in another way, is it really doesn't matter much uh, how they estimate, whether they've chosen to estimate by rounding them to the nearest hundred or rounding them to the nearest ten. Either way is fine. So I'm not even going to solve this problem because the idea is choose a method to estimate, find your estimation, and now add. And that's pretty straightforward. So on this one, I will do this one. Uh, Mr. Williams owns gas stations, and he sells 367 liters of gas in the morning, 300 liters of gas in the afternoon, and 219 liters of gas in the evening. Estimate, and then find the total of amount of gas he sells in one day. So first we're going to estimate. So let's do that. So we've got 367 plus 300 plus 219. And I'm going to estimate by rounding everything to the nearest 100 because that's the kind of guy I am. So rounding to the nearest 100, 367 becomes 400. 300 stays as 300. 219 rounds to 200, and that equals, let's see, we have 400 plus 3 more hundreds, so that's 700, plus 2 more hundreds, so that's 900 liters of gas is our estimation. And now let's find the exact amount, in which case we're going to stack them up vertically. Uh, we've got, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I need it. Um, so we've got 367, 300, and then I don't remember what that other number was. Um, it was, let's see, I'm looking it up. Oh, rats. Let's look it up. Scooch over. Ah, 219. There you go. Woohoo! Okay, so 219, and now we're going to add those up. Ignore this line down there. And we're going to begin by adding the ones column. So 7 plus 0 plus 9, that gives us 16. So that's a 6. Plus, we're going to carry 1 into the tens column. And then we have 6 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1. So that's 8. So that's 80. So we're going to put the 8 there. We don't need to worry about carrying. And then we have 3 plus 3 plus 2, so that's 8. So we end up with 886 liters is our actual answer. And our estimation was 900. So that, that means we were, are probably correct. Our estimation and our answer are close. So that means it's likely that our answer of 886 liters is probably correct. Let's move on to the next example, question B. It says, estimate and then find the difference between the amount of gas Mr. Williams sells in the morning and the amount of gas he sells in the evening. So the morning and evening. So here's morning, here's evening. So we're going to subtract. So we have 367 liters minus... 219 liters, and we're going to estimate. And once again, I'm going to estimate to the nearest 100. So that means we've got 400 liters minus 200 liters. So our estimation is about 200 liters. Now let's find the precise amount using that standard algorithm. So we've got 367 liters. Subtract 219 liters. And 
7 take away 9, 7 minus 9. So we don't have enough 1s to take away 9, so we're going to do some decomposing. So we're going to take 1 of these 6 10s, leaving us with 5, and decompose it to 10 1s. So now we have 17 1s, and 17 minus 9 is uh, 8. And then we have 5 tens take away 1 ten, so 5 minus 1 gives us 4 tens, or 40. And then we have 3 hundreds, subtract 2 hundreds, so we end up with 1 hundred. So that's 148 liters. Our estimation was 200. The actual answer is 148. Those are both reasonably close, so that probably tells us that we are probably correct. I mean, that tells us that we're probably correct. And that is the final lesson from Grade 3, Module 2. It happened to be Lesson 21 using estimation uh, for sums and differences.